Okay. Woo! Have you heard the news from the B class? Whoa! I just heard that we have a friend that used to be in the B class that is heading off to middle school. That's right, Sophie Haller. I can't believe it. You are leaving Creighton's Corner and getting ready for middle school. When I saw your sign in your front yard, I couldn't believe that you were already getting ready to go to sixth grade. It seems like you were just in kindergarten. I remember you playing with Grace and doing chalk and running around and reading books. So I just can't believe it. But seriously, I just wanted to say I'm so proud of you. And I don't know if you know, but each day I would always see you and your mom and then when Natalie joined us, walk by room one, heading down to your mom's classroom or to your classroom, and it always made me smile. And when you hit fourth grade, I couldn't believe that you were already so grown up. I wanted to say a few things before you leave Creighton's Corner and become a middle schooler. One, always be yourself. When you get to middle school, you're gonna find new interests and new friends, but just remember to be yourself. Two, you know I like to smile, so always wear a smile. In middle school, sometimes you don't know what to wear, or your hair, you might not be happy with it. Things just don't go your way. Remember to wear a smile, because we learn from the grouchy ladybug in kindergarten, which, you gave to me that that grouchy ladybug never wins. So always be a kind friend and smile. Three, use your seven habits. Middle school can be challenging, new friends, new assignments, new subjects. Always use your seven habits to solve those problems and help you get through it. And four, stay positive. Remember, being positive helps you get through the day, get through the year. Think of Mr. Lansdowne and all your fun CCE teachers when we say be positive. And the last one, five, because we're five in kindergarten or six, remember hmm, your family is always there for you. So count on your family at home and you can always count on your CCE family because you know once you're a cult, you're always a cult. Wish you the best of luck. Bye. Hi, Sophia. I loved having you in our room. You always had such a pretty smile on your face. You will do so good in middle school. I love you dearly. Keep in touch with me. Bye. Hi Sophie, this is Mrs. Cloutier, your first grade teacher. I'm honored to be with you here today at your fifth grade promotion. It's such an exciting time of year. I have many, many fond memories of you as a first grader. You're always a student that has been in my heart even though you moved on. Some of the things that I remember is you were a great helper to me. You taught me the importance of putting your name on your paper first thing. And it's a song that I still sing to first graders today. You probably remember it. Name on your paper first thing. We chant that each time we get a worksheet and I always think of you. You are an outstanding student. Very serious, always attentive to our discussions you loved learning. In fact, you inherited that from your mom and dad and your grandmother. When we were learning about the past, your mom shared with us a photo of your grandmother that I still have today. Although this is not the same photo, I just wanted to share that memory with you. So your family was a very big part of your first grade experience and a lot of support to me as a teacher. One of the projects that we did in class was to learn about famous Americans. You chose Eleanor Roosevelt to do a biography on. You really liked her and the kindness that she showed to people and especially children, an attribute that you still have. 
Well, when you were doing your biography, you were also excited about a trip to Miami. And you know what? You combined the two in your final writing. So I will always remember that Eleanor Roosevelt went to Miami in the biography that you actually presented to me. Lastly, and most importantly, you are a person that always had a big heart. You were kind to children that might be struggling with their behavior in our class. You were kind to students that maybe didn't know how to spell words or how to read the book the same as you. You always showed your big, kind heart, and I hope you do that for the rest of your life. My final words to you is always to remember to stay humble and kind. I'm cueing your mom and dad now to play the song by Tim McGraw with Humble and Kind. I hope you enjoy this very special day. I have a special bouquet, which I wish I could give to you, but I hope you enjoy it at any cost. Have a great fifth grade, wonderful time in your future. Always do your best. Bye. Sophie Lorraine, congratulations. It's your graduation. You did it, fifth grade. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I was thinking about all the things that you've accomplished so far in your young life. And I'm just so amazed at the person that you are and the person that you continue to become. There is so much that I love about you, but a few things that really stood out is from our second grade year. I just remember meeting you and I could just tell right away without even knowing you that you were one of the kindest, most thoughtful, most genuine and gentle people I'd ever met. You have a way of always thinking about others, but remaining so calm and humble as you do that. And I remember in second grade, you would make cards for someone if they were sick or you lead us in a kindness activity. Um, you were always helping me, checking work, leading morning meeting, taking care of our little stuffed animals. You were such a good helper and always had a smile on your face. And throughout the years, I feel really lucky and privileged because some teachers just get to work with you for a year but I've gotten a chance to be a part of your family for the past three years after second grade. And it has brought me so much joy to watch you excel at gymnastics, piano, and anything that you try. Being um, a presenter at our lighthouse with your binder, like what, you're amazing. You just have a natural gift and I'm really proud of you, how you work towards your goals and how you help one another and other people in the process. You. You're a special lady, so, and you have a really bright light within you, and I want you to keep shining that light to others as you move forward. I know you'll do great in middle school, and I couldn't be more proud of you. I love you so much, and we'll stay in touch. I can't wait to keep coming to all of your recitals and achievements from here on out. So, good luck, congratulations. The world is your oyster. Hey Sophie, congratulations on your fifth grade promotion. You have accomplished so much in your years at Creighton's Corner. Think about all that you've learned, all the friends you've made, and the memories that you will have for the rest of your life. I wish you the best of luck in middle school where there's lots of new things to learn and lots of new adventures right around the corner. So congratulations to you on all your accomplishments and hard work. Best of luck. Hi, Sophie. This is Mrs. Smith. I just wanted to say congratulations on fin finishing fifth grade. We are definitely going to miss seeing you around. I know that you are going to be awesome in middle school. And there is a quote that I wanted to um, share with you. It says something like, you are stronger than you believe, smarter than you think, and love beyond words. Anyways, um, good luck, and I hope you have a wonderful summer. Bye. Hey, Sophie. This is Mrs. Street. I just want to say congratulations on finishing your fifth grade year. I know that we ended in an unconventional way, but there's always a bright side. It's a way you will never forget. Always remember that those who focus on their blessings are a blessing to be around and those who focus on the difficulties are difficult to be around. 
So always be a person who can find the blessing in any situation and find the silver lining to any dark cloud. Because trust me, if you look hard enough, there's always a silver lining. I wish you the best of luck and have a great summer. Bye. Hi, Sophie. Congratulations on graduating fifth grade. I am so proud of you and thankful that I was your fourth grade teacher. One of my favorite memories of you is watching you in your gymnastics meet in your element. You are so talented and I am just so thankful that I was able to spend a whole year with you and watch you grow and I will continue to watch you grow through the years and you are going to do big things, Sophie Haller. So I, I miss you, I love you, Sophie, congratulations. Hi Sophie, congratulations on graduating from elementary school. I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to be one of your fourth grade teachers um, and to teach you reading and writing. I loved having you in my class. I will miss seeing you in the hallways of Creighton's Corner next year, but I know that you're going to love middle school and do amazing things. Congratulations. Hey Sophie. Congratulations on making it to sixth grade. I'm so proud of you. I hope you'll visit Tutu's Corner and Creighton's Corner. I know we're gonna miss you so much after so many years here. Um, take care of yourself, stay safe, and enjoy your summer. Bye. Hey, Professor. Wow, you are at the end of your fifth grade year. Congratulations, girl. <laughs> I remember when we first kind of officially met at the beginning of the school year. I mean, I've seen you before with your mom, but I remember you coming into my class and I'm just thinking, wow, this girl is amazing. And this year you have proven over and over how thoughtful and how kind and how generous you are. I loved getting all the letters in the mail that you sent to me, they meant so much. But I really wanna talk about something that grew in you this year and that's your confidence. I could see that confidence soar through the roof as you learned new things, as you became more confident in your science and your math skills, and you really started to believe in what you have to offer and see it as good. And I want you to take note of that. Knowing who you are is so important as you move forward from fifth grade and beyond. Lots of people are still discovering that and you will be for the rest of your life. But know this about you, you are an amazing, amazing person. You are generous, you are thoughtful, you are kind, you are creative, you are very strong. Um, and whatever you decide that you want to do, you actually accomplish it. Knowing these things about yourself, believing them to be true, and then sharing that with confidence is going to make such a difference to the people you come into contact with. I am going to really, really miss having you as a student. I've been blessed to have you in my life. And I'm excited for the teachers you're going to get to meet going forward because they are super lucky. Um, know this about you. Know the truth about yourself and be confident and share that with others because they're going to be blessed by your light. Can't wait to hear all the amazing adventures that you're gonna have going forward. Not gonna cry. <laughs> I'll miss you a lot. Bye. Congratulations, Sophie. I'm so proud of you. You did such a great job all the way through elementary school. I'm so glad I've known you since you were really little. Now you're huge and you're going off to middle school and you've done great things. You were a fantastic patrol this year. Awesome student to have in class and I wish you all of the best. Congrats. Sophie Haller, congratulations on your fifth grade graduation. We're looking for big things out of you in middle school. Congrats.